Hey everyone, welcome back to another What's Up Sioux Falls. I'm Kelly Nyberg and we are so excited to be in tea today. We're branching out of Sioux Falls to be at Zook's Coffee Bar. So if you're looking for a new place to hang out, relax and get a good cup of joe or delicious food or any energy drinks, this is your place. I'm here with owner Linda. How are you? Good, how are you? You guys have absolutely spoiled me already <laughs> and we are just starting the interview. Good. I'm so happy to be here. How long have you been open? Just as, um, September 15th. So this is a very new yes. thing for you and it's such a cute place. Thanks. It's out here uh, just off of Gateway yep. Lane mm -hmm. in T. So it's not that far from Sioux Falls. You can come out here. Yeah. Uh, how did you get started? Why did you want to open this? You know, um, it really happened during COVID. Um, I used to travel a lot for work. I did business development and I couldn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. And so I just kind of realized, you know, I'm putting all this energy out into all these other states and communities and region in the area, and I'm not doing anything for my community here. And so I thought, you know, I just really want to make a difference here. The people that, um, you know, we live with, we work with, I've raised my family here. Mm -hmm. um, and we didn't have anything here for a coffee shop. There was no place to go and just hang out. Right. And so I thought, oh, this is a great idea. Nobody's done it. I'm going to do it. And um, just started researching it. It was about an 18 month long span. Um, then everything just finally after COVID started to come together and we were able to open up in September. So. Well, congratulations. And it's another female owned business uh, in the area. So it's another reason to support them out here too. Um, let's talk about what you have, what you carry or what you sell, I should say. Okay. And I've already mentioned a little bit, but I want to start with this latte. I've never heard of anything like it, but I'm obsessed. What do I have here? <laughs> it's super good. So it's a cookie butter white chocolate latte. It's made with our espresso. Um, our espresso is roasted here locally. Mm -hmm. My roaster is local. Actually, my lead, lead barista and one other staff member is daughters of the, of the roaster. And that so is Parable Roasting? Parable, Parable Coffee. Yep. Yep. Um, and so he roasts everything here locally, but that's where it all starts is with a really good coffee, really good bean. Yeah, that is amazing, especially because yeah. I saw that it was one degree outside <laughs> when we came in here. And so perfect way to warm up on a day like today. And then yep. this is the most unique thing I've ever seen in a shop like this. Yes. So cool. Tell us about this. So we call them our split cups because obviously they're split. Um, it is connected. So a little people get a little confused by what it is, but it is connected. But you can kind of see in the middle, they're two separate drinks. Mm -hmm. So it's a great way for somebody to come in and if they want to get their normal one that they always get, but yet they've kind of been eyeballing a different mm -hmm. drink and they want to try it. Perfect way to do that. Um, you can get anything that's iced. We can't do hot in there. So we do the ice drinks. You can get a buzz drink. You can get a latte. You can get a chai. We have great chai here. Um, it's just a it's just a fun way to try different drinks. Right, I love it, yeah. and they're both delicious. And it, you made a good point. It matches my outfit, so that was perfect. <laughs> Not planned. I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls by the time I leave here with all this caffeine. Um, the food. I tried yes. these. What are these? Because they are amazing. I call them poppers, but really what they are is um, pepper jack mac and cheese with jalapenos breaded and then we we bake them we don't deep fat fry them so we bake them here in Ooh. our rapid cook oven mm -hmm. yeah and i don't even like jalapenos but that doesn't bother me no. at all it's not too much it's and i'm a little a, just a little kick and i yeah. don't like spice they're super good and then this beautiful looking <laughs> breakfast sandwich i always take the biggest bites on camera i'm gonna be a lady this time <laughs> tell me about your sandwiches okay so um they've become pretty popular that's a croissant bun not a croissant but a croissant bun oh those are so, so it's good. layered it's really buttery and then we have a sausage patty um, an egg a fried egg and then a piece of cheese on there um, you can opt to have ghost pepper cheese put on there if you'd like but you have to really like hot not for me stuff if you want it. <laughs> so um, we can do it on a biscuit as well but the croissant bun is really the oh it's so good yeah. and it's flaky it's and really delicious good. so the food is great as well now you mentioned using uh, vendors or suppliers in the community, but you also like giving back to the community yes. as well. Yes. So tell us how you do that. Um, I'm really very community driven with this business here in T as well as Sioux Falls because it's really becoming one. Um, but for example, um, during the holiday season, we had some amazing toffee and chocolates. Um, there's a lady in T here that made them. And so um, I sell them here in my shop for her. Mm -hmm. um, again, our roaster is local, so that's nice. Um, what about your giving back pay it forward board? Okay, yeah, the pay it forward board is basically you can come in and buy somebody a coffee without knowing who they are. So you give us the money, we 
put it on a card, put it on the wall, and you can put you can put it towards a nurse, a teacher, a single mom, um, mm -hmm. a dad. It doesn't really matter. And then if anybody comes in and they're maybe low on cash that day or they just need a pick me up, they can grab something off the wall, take it up to the to the staff and to the counter and get themselves a coffee or a buzz drink. That is so cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, I saw nurses on there, uh, policemen, maybe firefighters. Most of them are for five bucks, maybe 10 bucks yep. uh, off whatever they purchase. So that is a great way of giving back. And it's it's kind of cool and it's anonymous because you don't, yes. you know, you're doing it just to give back. You're not doing it for the publicity or whatever, but just to give right. it anonymously is kind of neat. Exactly. And during Christmas, we had a couple people came in and bought like a hundred dollar worth of oh, wow. cards. Yeah. And that was, that was fun. So it was just very full. Very, very great. cool. Yeah. All right. Before we go, a big part of this show is talking to future entrepreneurs and business leaders and yep. giving them advice in case they want to start their own business someday. Oh. What advice would you give to someone who wants to maybe start their own place oh, someday? Wow. So I don't come from a coffee background, so research. I mean, I researched, I got mm -hmm. on with groups of people that were already doing it, um, asked a lot of questions, visited with other coffee shop owners. Um, uh, Brandon, my coffee roaster, has been amazing. I don't know how many questions and texts I've been sending him, you know, through that 18 month period. What does this mean? How do I do this? Um, it's really just leaning on other people that have already done it and, and learning from them. But then you really have to find your own identity on what you're doing. I mean, <laughs> this, this is really me. Um, you have to don't make it somebody else's dream, make it be your own dream. Right. Um, but it's the research and all the people that, you know, have been there along the way to help me um, answer questions and kind of give me support that way. I mean, that's been huge. I couldn't have done it without all that. Right. That's yeah. fantastic advice. It's some of the best advice that we've gotten oh, on this show. No offense to anybody else that has done <laughs> interviews. Everybody's great. We love all of your advice. Okay. I should have said that. Anyway, I am so excited to eat. Okay. Jason, are you hungry? Yep. Jason's hungry. I guess I'll share. A little bit. I was going to maybe have some for lunch, maybe some for dinner, but I won't be selfish and I'll give Jason some today. Anyway, Linda, thank you so much you. for taking the time. This we is an awesome it. place. I am a fan. I will be back. I hope you come out too. Again, it is t in T. It's not that far if you hop on the interstate to come out here and we appreciate your time. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. And thanks for tuning in to another What's Up Sioux Falls. Follow us on social media. If you have any questions or you have any ideas for a segment or What's Up Wednesday, email me at kelly at whatsupsuefalls.tv. We'll see you next week.